Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. And we're going to do a series of videos on the Ronin S Create Modes. Now, what these are, they're a series of applications basically in the Ronin app that allow you to do creative video and photography with the Ronin S. There's a time lapse mode, a motion lapse, a video motion mode, it's called track, and a, and a panorama mode. So each one of these videos will be devoted to one of these create modes so you can learn the feature that you want and not sit here for 20 minutes trying to learn them all. So once we're in the Ronin app, we're gonna click on create. And the simplest one is capture. And with capture, I can move the Ronin S, so I have my pan, tilt, roll, so I can set it up for these things and trigger the shutter. Now, to trigger the shutter, you have to have the appropriate cable. Now, this is a GH4. There's no specific GH4 cable yet. It really needs kind of a 90 degree in here, but I'm actually using the Ronin MX RSS cable for Panasonic, and it actually works just fine on here. The only problem was I had to put a big variable ND on the front so I could balance it because of where the cable is, but that's not that big of a deal. And so once I have it balanced, now I can use these, uh, I can balance the gimbal, I can auto tune it, and everything is gonna work right. So the uh, capture, that's pretty simple. It just allows you to capture it and remotely control the gimbal. The next one we're gonna look at is panorama. Now for that, I wanna make sure that I'm in a photography mode. So I'm in manual on here. I have all my settings dialed in the way I want, my exposure, my ISO, my shutter speed, and my white balance so that that doesn't change. And on the screen here, I can pick the type of sensor, that's a micro four thirds, what focal length, so I'm at 14 millimeters, so I have that set in here. How much overlap do I want? And how much delay from spot to spot. Well, I don't want any delay. I want it to be kind of all as quick as possible. So I can adjust the settings here. So how big, wide do I want? And that camera shows me where I'm at with relation to the scene. So if I want to have, actually be able to shoot down, I can pull this screen down. If I don't want to, then I can go up and it's telling me that I'm gonna need three shots by three shots in order to cover 136.2 degrees by 44.7 degrees. This will give me a nice wide angle. So once I have this set up, I just hit start and it's gonna go around taking the pictures that I need. So again, it should be three by three, tilt down, it's going to come back and as you can see on the app you can see where the camera is and how far along it is in its process now for me the best way to process these is to take them into adobe lightroom i select them all right click say photo merge to panorama and it's just going to do its thing and create some panoramas i'll show you a couple more that i did out at a local park so pretty cool shots, nice way of getting really big, high quality images, because even with this camera at 16 megapixels, well, it's 16 times nine. So that's quite a big image that you can end up with once you stitch that all together and make it as big as you want, enlarge it however you want. So that's the two first modes, capture and panorama. In the next video, we're gonna show time-lapse. So if you love doing time-lapse, we're gonna show time-lapse and motion-lapse. So time-lapse is gonna be fixed. Motion-lapse is gonna allow you to actually move the camera while it's doing the time-lapse, which is very, very cool. So stay tuned for part two. There should be a link right here. As always, if you like these videos, be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any, and hit that bell icon so you actually get notified every time we do a new video. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.